Hi everybody, it's Carla from Active Schools with High Life Highland. Thank you for joining me for another challenge and uh, today we're going to continue working on our underarm throw technique. We've done a few challenges now where we are um, using the skill of throwing uh, but we're going to develop our skill today with a game called Moving On Up. We want to try and improve the accuracy of our throwing uh, with these challenges or with the series of challenges that we're doing and that means that we want to try and make them more consistent and more successful. This game you can play on your own, uh, but please feel free to challenge your family members to it as well. Um, or you can play it virtually with your friends. Get them on a screen on uh, the other side of a camera and play them at the same time. Um, so, what are we going to need for the game moving on up? The first thing you're going to need is something to throw. Um, I have picked up an array of socks um, as you can see these are quite big socks and that's so that they're going to feel quite weighty in my hand and they will also travel a little bit better when I throw them. Um, I've also given you another option here though as well and um, you can use a paper ball. Yes this will be okay but it won't travel quite as well so if you're older and you have your targets placed a little bit further away then I would recommend using the socks. However the paper ball is an option. Okay, so let's talk targets. That's the second thing you're going to need. This game is called Moving On Up and the targets that you're going to use will become progressive, which means that they're going to become further away. You can use absolutely anything for your targets. I've used six things or I've placed six targets for myself and they are random. I have a box for the last target that I will reach. I've got a book. I've got another book. I've used a few books actually. I've also used a teddy. Um, so my Charlie Bear is going to feature once again in this video. A bottle and I've made sure that I've left some juice in it so that it doesn't fall over. And my first target is a book there too. Narnia featuring again. And I have a piece of paper marked out for my start line because this is what I'm going to stand on to mark my starting point. Okay, this is my target. This is my moving on up challenge. If you are younger, please don't feel like you have to use six targets. In fact, maybe primary one to three, I would suggest having three targets. Each of my targets I have distanced roughly one big step away from each other. So measure out your own targets, gather them first, and then place them out on your floor one step away from each other. Primary one to three, grab maybe three, and if you are primary four to seven, you can choose up to six. And in fact, if you've got a bigger space than me, or if you want to go outside, then try and see if you can use more targets. But let's go and set up your moving on up challenge now. Great, now that we are all set up, the challenge is very simple. You have to try and hit the targets in the order that they come in. Starting with the closest first, moving on up to the target that is furthest away, and for me that was the box, as you've seen just a minute ago. Let's go through a couple of rules that will help to keep us on track or on point when we play this game both for ourselves and with other people. Rule number one, you cannot skip targets. You've got to hit them in the order that they come in. So if you hit target number two before you hit target number one, that doesn't count, I'm afraid. You have to hit target number one. So keep throwing and keep trying until you hit number one, then you can move on to the next one. Same applies with the other targets as you go. Rule number two, use the underarm throw coaching points and I'm gonna go through them just now with you. Okay, let's look at where our legs and our feet have to be for the underarm throw first. You can see that my feet are roughly hip width apart. I am then going to stagger my stance. So I want to take one step forward um, so that my feet are staggered. I then want to slightly bend my knees so that I have a nice soft throw movement. Okay, so if I show you that from the side as well, I'm hip width apart and then I'm gonna stagger my stance with slightly bent knees. For the throwing action, uh, first of all, I'm gonna use a, almost like an underhand grip as well. So you can see that my fingernails are pointing to the sky. I am then going to, using my favourite hand, I'm going to bring my arm back, see how my knees are still nice and soft. When I throw it though, I'm going to propel my hand from back to front. As I throw, you can see that my hand is still pointing in the direction that I want it to go and that is called a follow through. Okay, So keeping your knees nice and bent, lifting your arm back, propelling it forward and pointing in the direction that you want it to go. And our last rule, rule number three, is to count how many throws it takes for you to complete this challenge. Add them up. 
If it takes five throws for you to get target number one, two through throws to get target number two, so on and so forth, right until you reach target number three or target number six, count how many overall throws it takes for you to reach the end. And then try this game multiple tr times. Try it two, three times and beat your score. Okay, there are alternative ways of playing this game and I will let you in to see those once we have completed the challenge. But let's see how I get on first. and another challenge that will help to develop your throwing technique. Uh, remember there are alternative ways of playing this game, of playing moving on up. Um, if you have siblings or family members that want to play alongside you, then you don't have to use the same targets. You can actually build your own target set and try and see who gets the less throws in. Uh, also, you can play it where it's a race, so who can touch all their targets at the end where you don't count how many throws it takes. Also, you can play it like a relay. So actually work as a team and try and hit the targets in turn. So player number one would hit target number one. Then ta player number two would hit target number two. Player number three, target number three. And encourage each other to build up your uh, throwing technique so that it becomes more accurate and becomes more successful. Again, share how you get on, have a lot of fun and enjoy. <laughs>